Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how we can move uh, shapes or geometries with respect to some other geometry. Let's say if you want to move a particular geometry when some other geometry is moving with respect to each other, in that case this is very helpful. For example, if you have a geometry, something like this, and if you want to move that along the face of another geometry, how can you do that? There is a very easy way to do that. Or, for example, let's say we have two complicated shapes and you want to move one part of the geometry at certain position of another geometry. How can you do that in Compson Multiphysics very easily? In this tutorial, we will learn both these two examples and see how can we do that. So let's jump into the software and start learning. Hello, so we are back in Compsol Multiphysics and we have created a 2D component. You can do that in 3D component as well. Maybe I can create a separate tutorial regarding the 3D objects. So in the geometry, I will just go on to geometry and sketch and I will just draw a complicated shape so that uh, you get to know how to join two objects. So I will just click and make some uh, shape okay so i have this shape now i will go on to the geometry tab and you can see that i have some shape it doesn't have any meaning this is just for a tutorial purpose and i will draw one more shape so what i can do i can just draw a random uh, rectangle okay so let me just draw a rectangle something like this now i want to connect this point with this point okay i want the rectangle to move to this point whenever uh, there is any change in this geometry so how can we do that to do that uh, we'll go on to geometry then click on transforms and then move in the move uh, you won't see any settings as such but if you go on to the displacement vector and click on position you will see a set of different options so the input object is basically the object that you want to move that is the input object to move they could have written input objects to move something like that so i'll click on this object now what we will do here it says old position and we want to select the vertex so i'll just toggle this and click in this dot in the point similarly vertices to move to i made a mistake i'll just clear this so this is the vertex to move okay and vertices to move to so where do you want to move so i'll click here and now if I click on build all object, you will see that the rectangle will move in this position. So I'll click on build all object and you can see that it moves to that point. Let me delete this and show you a separate example. So I'll just go on to sketch. I'll just draw a rectangle. Maybe I can draw another rectangle. And then what I can do, I can draw a point at the center of this rectangle, okay? Now I want to draw a circle. So I will click on the circle, drag my mouse and now I have a circle. I will just move this circle to some different position just to demonstrate you how powerful this feature is. So I will go on to geometry, close the sketch tab and, and now I have the geometries, okay? Now let us try to move the circle such that it just touches this rectangular geometry. How can we do that? Now thus like the previous case, we will go on to transforms and click on move. Now here again we'll go on to positions 
input object we want to move the circle and here vertex to move we'll select this dot and vertices to move to we'll select this dot now if i click on build all object you can see that the circle actually touches the rectangle if i zoom in you can see that it's, it's just touching the rectangle now if you want to do that manually it is very difficult because you need to uh, play with the x and y values and uh, depending on the geometry it might get very tough to exactly match the position and then uh, make them touch okay so this is another example so now i'll move on to a slightly complicated geometry in 2d so i'll just go on to this geometry so this is a slightly complicated geometry and i have two shapes one this one and the other this one and i have a reference point that i purposely created so that i can move a particular geometry to a specific point now i can control the point using uh, different variables and then uh, use it according to our project so i'll go on to transformers and again click on move now just like the previous case we'll again go on to positions and in the input object we'll select the object that we want to move and vertex to move is this one and vertices to move to that is the point where you want to move i'll select this point okay now if i click on build all object you can see that the second object actually moves and tries to overlap with the input point so you can play around with this uh, property and you can get very interesting uh, geometries that otherwise might get quite complicated so i hope you understood uh, how to use this feature it might be very beneficial if you have multiple geometries for example if you are creating the geometry in some third party software such as solidworks and you are importing and maybe you have to connect two geometries create an assembly within console in all those cases this might be very beneficial according to me so if you find this tutorial helpful please give a like leave a comment and you can suggest what more kind of tutorial you want to see next and have a nice day ahead